Two staff members at a Brooklyn high school are alleging anti-Semitism and a hostile work environment. They say the response from administrators and the city's school's chancellor has fallen short of what's needed. CBS News' Natalie Dundrush live in the newsroom. Natalie. Yes, good morning, Cindy Mary. These two staff members at Origins High School tell us they fear going to work every day. They say a dozen complaints with the district have been filed, including bullying and discrimination that they say have gone unanswered. And that's now leading to students leaving the school. Community leaders held a news conference on Sunday calling the school environment an atmosphere of hatred. One of the teachers, who is Jewish, sent us these photos showing Free Palestine post it notes she says were placed on her classroom door. She also says she's received disturbing social media posts. The school's safety camp campus manager tells us that he made 15 complaints to the special commissioner of investigation for New York City public schools. Local leaders are also saying this must not be tolerated. At the school, it's not just anti-Semitism that has been left unchecked. There's also <clears throat> been incidents of racism. I've had students call me a dirty Jew. I've had students um, draw swastikas on my desk and bulletin boards. I've had students tell me that they wanted to kill my family. We reached out to the Department of Education. A spokesperson says it's investigating, adding while there are no reports or evidence to support these claims, students and staff deserve to be safe and respected in their school. Meanwhile, in a letter the principal wrote, I can assure you that we do not tolerate discrimination or hate in our community and respond to all potential acts of discrimination, harassment or bias that may occur. That principal's letter went on to say that there will be opportunities this week for the school community to come together to determine ways forward. These staff members say they hope that by speaking out, this will inspire change. Cindy and Mary. Natalie Dudrich, Natalie, thank you.